Hey guys, today I'm filming my first update for my Project Tin Pan Spring Edition. I'm still behind on videos, but I am filming this on time. Today is March 30th, and I am really excited to show you guys all of the progress I have made on these products. If you all did not see my intro, I will have it linked up in the cards. I had hoped to do a chit chat, get ready with me with these products, but because I've been out of town basically every single weekend, I've been using the products, but I used some of them up before. I was able to show them all in a video so I do apologize for that but y'all know how to apply makeup and I'm not really including anything fun like different shadows in this project so please forgive me for that I will try to make sure I do it for the following seasonal project pans so I'm going to start by showing you all of the products that I was able to finish over this first month and y'all will believe it but I finished one two three four five six seven eight nine products, which is insane, but I do still have a bunch of things to work on and I will be adding in a few more products in this update as well. So the first thing I used up would be the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 4. Here is where I was at the intro and I did completely use it up. I had already pulled out the stopper and this had started to get a little dry so I'm glad I put it in the project to use it up. I do love the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. It is good for blemishes and under eyes but I like this product best to add more coverage on my cheeks but I do that with the shade Light 10 mixed with a little bit of the white shade. This one has more of that neutral undertone so it works really well to brighten under my eyes so if you are very fair and have a hard time finding a concealer light enough to brighten under the eye, Fair 4 is a great one and there is even one shade lighter that's more pinky tone that would be fair too so I do love this product I won't repurchase it in this shade because I have other under eye concealers I prefer but this was an awesome product and I'm really happy to have it used up then I finished all of my powders yeah all four I added into the intro I used up already and you guys are probably like Heather something is wrong with you you're absolutely wasting this product there's no way you're using it yes I am it's just the way that I use it so I had two loose powders and two pressed powders in this video now keep in mind one of the loose was a deluxe size sample and the other ones were very close to being done if I had started with them like half full it would have taken me a lot longer to get through but the way that I applied these is that I use both of my loose powders under my eyes and on my face apply with the damp beauty sponge and then I went over top with a little bit of the colored powder I don't like to put that colored powder directly on my wet foundation because then it makes my makeup look too dark so that is why I apply it the way I do and I really like the way it looks on my skin I just tend to go through powder a good bit quicker using it that way especially my loose powder so the first thing I used up was the Makeup Forever Ultra HD and this is just a little deluxe size sample this is a classic powder and I didn't like it it was my first time trying it and the other loose powder I used up was the Durham Blend Translucent Loose Powder. If you guys remember my intro, I had just a tiny little bit left, so I wasn't surprised. I finished it all up, and I told you guys in my intro I wasn't sure if I would repurchase this or not because I thought it was just kind of basic and it left a bit of a white cast, but in comparison to the Makeup Forever, I think the Durham Blend is amazing. So the Makeup Forever made my makeup oxidize and get a little darker like as soon as I apply it to my skin, my face makeup got darker, which I didn't love. I would rather it be a little lighter like this one does, or just, you know, translucent, stay the same color. It also caked up on my face a little bit, and it caked up in my sponge really badly. So I wash my sponge every four days or so, but after like the second day, it was clunk it was clumping up in my sponge. Then I would get little clumps on my face. I just didn't like this powder at all. I felt like, it was so thin and fine, it basically like poof. I put it on my sponge, poof, it's gone. And I felt like I went through it so quickly. So this powder I think sucks, but the Durham Blend is so much better. And I'm really happy I tried this one because it made me appreciate the Durham Blend so much more. And I decided that I will be repurchasing this during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. And this is a, a great product. As I said, I love this to set my under eyes and my face. It can give a a little bit of a white cast so do be mindful of that but also I mentioned that this was looking really bright under my eyes but I did finish up my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair. I'm now using Fair Neutral. I'm using that today and I did use a little mini jar of the Dermablend powder under my eyes and I think my under eyes look 
flawless. So now that I have the right shade of concealer, it's good that this is a little brightening and now it's just like the perfect shade match, the perfect combo. So I'm really in love with this powder. Highly recommend this one. And the Makeup Forever, just terrible. So absolutely not, but absolutely yes. So I was really happy I tested both of those out at the same time to really know how much I appreciate the Derma Blend. Then I've got my two pressed powders. So the first is the NYX Hashtag No Filter. This was a rollover from my Winter Project Pan, which I'll have linked up in the cards. And there wasn't a ton left in this. I have the shade number two nude. It is completely gone. This is just some product stuck here. And I tried to dig it out and it didn't really work. I'm not sure like what stuck between the grooves of the pan, but it was kind of coming up like, it's not, product. I, I don't know what it is. It's some sort of material, but it's not actually face powder. I'm really happy I put this one in this project as well because I fell in love with this powder. This gives some nice coverage, some beautiful color, but it doesn't look really flat on the skin. It made my skin look really beautiful and airbrushed. I did not go through this very quickly, which is amazing. This is more of like a mineralized baked product, but with my other face powders that are pressed, I go through them so quick, but I didn't with this one. And like I said, I really fell in love with it thanks to this project. But unfortunately, like everything else I love, this product was discontinued. I might try to find some online. I would love to see if they do have one shade lighter than this one that I can use. But yeah, that's really sad. And from what I remember, this powder was kind of overpriced as well. My friend Jean sent this to me. Absolutely love it. So I'm happy to have another powder used up out of my collection, but I'm sad as well because this was really, really good. I, the other powder that I used up was the Rimmel Stay Matte Transparent Powder. I did repress this right after my intro to make it easier to use, and I went through it very quickly. I used this to set my oily areas to touch up. I've tried several touch up powders, and this one is my favorite. It is truly translucent. It does soak up all my oil without making me look really dry or powdery, and I've tried other translucent powders where I touch up and then 30 minutes later I need to touch up again. This one helps keep me matte for a longer period of time. I did already repurchase this and I'm happy I used this up because I had just a little bit I had been hanging on to for so long and I needed a fresh one. So I'm really excited about all the powders I used up. I am surprised but at the same time also not. So again, if you guys saw my end of the year makeup empties video and you saw how many powders I had, this is how I work through them. Like I truly do use them up, I swear. So then the next thing I completely used up was the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe chamomile and lavender. And this is the one fluid ounce bottle. So the sprayer on this is absolutely wretched. It got it all over the place, big globs all over my shirt, all over my hair. So I decided after wasting a little bit of the product, I decided to put it into the NYX Dewy Finish mini bottle because the sprayer on this girlfriend is so, you can't, you can't see, it's so much better. It's very finely milled. So I'm going to be holding on to this little bottle for a while to use to put other setting sprays in, good for traveling and whatnot, but it just worked so well with this product because like I said, the bottle is terrible. This is fine, it has a nice light scent. This is not meant to be a setting spray. I just used it in that way because I wasn't gonna use this as a skincare step. It's fine, I have other setting sprays I prefer. I will not repurchase it, but I'm very happy to have that used up. Next, I did finish up my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and this is in the shade Number two, so I told you guys in my intro that I have the little mini that I want to use up, but I wanted to finish this one first because it was so close and I only finished this a few days ago. This lasted me forever and this is such an amazing brow pencil. I really do love it, but it just costs way too much. I think the NYX Micro Brow works just as well. That one's only $10 to begin with, but I always buy them on sale. I have a big stockpile right now, so I'm not going to repurchase this, but I'm really happy I was able to try it out. I think Benefit truly makes amazing brow products. Like I know people think that Anastasia 
is a queen of brows and she makes great items but benefit makes great brow products as well so definitely recommend this and the next thing I used up was the Urban Decay eyeshadow in the shade strange this is a rollover for my winter project pan as well I did repress it into this little tiny color pot pan after my intro and I just use this to set the eyeshadow primer in my crease. So the color of this was a light cream with a pinky undertone. It was beautiful. I liked the formula a lot. This came from the Naked 3 palette, but I wouldn't purchase it individually even if I could because there's no point in spending like 20 bucks on a matte cream. I love the one from Wet n Wild in the shade Brulee the best. It's amazing for just one dollar, but I'm wanting to work through the matte creams in my different palettes and I'm happy to have another used up the last item I used up was the Beauty by Pop Sugar Be The Boss lip gloss in the shade Time After Time. So my dumb self thought I could use this up in a week, maybe two weeks, girl no. This took me three weeks to use it up and I'm, I'm happy it's gone but I wish I was just patient, save this for summer because I don't think I'm going to finish my other lip gloss and you know, two months and a week. Like, I just don't think it's gonna happen. So I'm kind of bummed, feel like I cheated myself a bit, but I like, guess it's good to have this used up. It was a really pretty, like, rosy pink color. I did like the formula of this gloss. It was very smooth and not sticky. It had, like, a light medium opacity. I did enjoy this. I would not repurchase it, but I enjoyed using it and I'm happy it is used up. So now I'm going to show you all of the items I have remaining in this project as well as the new things I will be adding in. So now we've got all of my face primers and I still have these and I'm super close on this first one which is the Murad Age Reform Invisible Perfecting Shield with Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I believe I'm all the way up here. I probably have got two or three more uses left in this one and it'll be gone, but I will save my review for next month when it's officially used up. But the first week of this month, Justin and I did go to LA and I brought the other primer, the Cover Effects Mattifying with me. So I did use this for one week and then this for three weeks. So I'm hoping that I can have this one finished off within the next week or so and then just focus all of my time to this one. So still working on both of those and then I've got the Benefit Professional Primer. I'm not sure where I am. I have been using this every single day to fill and blur my pores and I am enjoying it. I don't hate it as much as I remember. Now I definitely have other pore filling primers I prefer but with the way my skin is right now with the level of oiliness my skin is at this is working very well so I'm happy with that and I hope I can finish it by the end of the project. I definitely think it's possible. Then we have my foundation, which is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage in 110 Porcelain. I am wearing this today. I've really been enjoying this foundation. This is a very thick consistency and it really cakes up my sponge, so I do have to wash it pretty frequently, which would be good for me anyway, but I really do like the way that this looks on the skin. It's a great color for me. So this is where I was at the intro and I am all the way down here. I do leave this foundation sitting on my vanity because it takes a while for all the product to settle. and. I I made quite a bit of progress within this last month, so I definitely think I will have this finished off by my next update, which is a very exciting, making good steady progress on that one. So as soon as I finished up my other loose powders, I started working on this mini I had of the Durham Blend Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Because this jar is kind of small, I put it into this Sonia Cash Look container, which has been like the best thing ever. I really enjoyed the original powder, but I've used this container for like years and I just clean it out works amazing and this is all that I have left so I have got two to three more days worth of product in here and then this one will be used up and after that I am going to add in these two little baby sizes of the cover effects perfect setting powder in the translucent light shade I've used these up before. It's very tiny. It looks like this. So I'm going to put both of these into this jar, use it to set my under eyes and my face. This is not my most favorite powder, but I can definitely use it up. The next product we have would be the Hourglass Blush Sample in Luminous Flush. I did hit a little bit of a baby pan 
on this one this morning. I am wearing it on my cheeks today. This is a beautiful color. I really do enjoy this formula. And I've only used this a handful of times over the past month. I was kind of saving it, thinking I was gonna do that chit chat get ready with me and I'm just not going to anymore. So I will definitely have this finished off by my next update. This is a beautiful color and I'm just enjoying using this whenever I feel like it. Then I've got my highlighter, which is the Pixie and Aspen Ovar Glowy Powder in London Luster. My goal is to hit pan. My goal for the Hourglass Blush is to use it up completely. So I do believe that the dip has gotten a little bit bigger in this one. It's a little deeper, but I don't think I'm very close to hitting pan. So this will probably take till the very end of the project, but I'm wearing this highlight today. I am really enjoying it. I think it's a good shade for this time of year and the type of makeup that I like to wear, the type of colors I like to wear. So I'm happy with my product progress on that one. I did decide to add in another setting spray and that would be this little baby size of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This has half a fluid ounce in it. So I would like to use this up completely which I'll be able to do by the next update for sure. And then I have my little mini of the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number two. And I've only used this probably three or four times so far. So this is basically all the product that you get in there. I might be able to have it finished off by next update. I don't use this on its own. I use this in conjunction with a thicker angle brow pencil. So this takes a lot longer, which is good. It makes me get more of my money's worth. So it will definitely be done by the finale, but I'm enjoying using this. And then the last thing I have would be the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss in the shade Pure Peach. You can see through the packaging a little bit. If I swirl around here, you can see through the packaging. I've only been using this for the past week or so. I've been using it every day and I've been trying to reapply it several times throughout the day. I'm not always the best at reapplying. So I'm still gonna hope I can finish this by the end of my project, but I'm not quite sure. However, I am enjoying using this a little bit more than I thought I would. So I am very happy with all the progress I've made so far with my items on this project. And I'm hoping to have quite a few things finished off by next month as well. If you guys are doing any project pans right now, I would love to know down in the comments below. I would also love to know your thoughts on any of the products I have here, or if you have any recommendations for ways that I can wear these products. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.